I didn't start transition until I was 58. I guess I was 50. How did your family accept you? Well, my son disowned me. He told his mother that he wanted anything to do with the fucking freak. So I don't get to talk to my grandson or my granddaughter. My family's similar to yours. Your daughter disowned you? Both my daughters disowned me, yeah. 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 When I was growing up, I always knew there was something different. I didn't like the same thing the other boys did. <laughs> you know, they wanted to play Army and Cowboys and Indians, and I wanted to be the, the girl in a wagon that was sewing and making coffee. <laughs> <laughs> right. But, you know, I had to be who I wasn't so that I could survive. I spent 15 years in the Army, and I enlisted, of all places, as a paratrooper going to the 82nd Airborne Division. And the units I was in, the soldiers were pretty hard charging, so that was the image you had to portray. I didn't start wearing women's clothes until I was out of the military. I wouldn't do it because I was afraid. Oh, in the military, yeah. But then we met at the transgender support group. Yeah, the VA support group. And we started joking and then just like nitpicking at each other and stuff. <laughs> People said, well, you guys really are sisters. We do sit around and talk a lot. We would sit in Denny's for coffee at like 2 o'clock in the afternoon and be dark. And leave there at 10 o'clock at, at night. At night. <laughs> <laughs> the servers all know us. The managers know us. She flirts with all the waitresses. Me? Yes, you do. <laughs> we get a 20% military discount. Yes, we do. <laughs> you know, it hurts to have lost my daughters. But uh, I found out love is not a two-way street. Love's not unconditional. It is for some of us. You're always there for me. There's never a, a doubt uh, or a question as to whether you would be or not. You are my sister. I'm glad of it. <laughs>